Filipino company Propmec Corporation, in partnership with Safehole Marine Technologies, has successfully demonstrated its capability to construct the multi-purpose attack craft or MPAC locally. During a media tour on June 13, 2024, PropMech showcased its ability to build these advanced vessels independently, marking a significant milestone for the country's shipbuilding industry. Previously, PropMech's foreign partner, Lung Tae Shipbuilding of Taiwan, was responsible for the base design and construction of the early versions of the MPAC. However, it appears that PropMech and Safehole Marine Technologies have now acquired the necessary technology and expertise to build these vessels on their own. The hull presented during the media tour exemplifies this newfound capability. It is yet to be confirmed if this MPAC hull is intended for a specific customer, as the Philippine Navy does not currently have an order for a fifth batch of MPACs. PropMech has been actively pursuing new contracts with the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine Coast Guard to construct small surface assets such as patrol boats and utility craft. This move aligns with the government's strategy to enhance maritime security and bolster external defense capabilities. On the same day, PropMech Corporation also announced the completion of comprehensive maintenance and refurbishment work on 3 out of 12 MPACs of the Philippine Navy. This effort is part of the government's new comprehensive archipelagic defense concept which aims to protect the country's national patrimony within its exclusive economic zone, with a particular focus on the West Philippine Sea and the Philippine Rise. The refurbished MPACs, specifically the Mark III versions with hull numbers 488, 492, and 493, were presented at Propnich's shipyard in Subic, Sambalas. These vessels are the first in the Philippine Navy to be armed with Spike ER missiles, which have a range of 8 kilometers. The Spike ER missile system was successfully tested on an MPAC for the first time in 2018. Originally commissioned in 2009, the MPACs are primarily designed for operations in littoral zones. Over the years, they have played crucial roles in various operations, including counterterrorism missions in Mindanao. The recent refurbishment not only extends the operational lifespan of these vessels but also significantly enhances their combat capabilities, ensuring that the Philippine Navy remains a formidable force in safeguarding the nation's maritime interests. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on maritime defense and technology. Hit the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. We'd love to hear your thoughts on PropMex local construction of the MPAX and the refurbishment of the Philippine Navy's warships. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. Stay tuned for our next video where we explore more advancements in naval defense. This is Filipinos. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.